Hello everybody, I'm Raw Potato, and here we are, back again, making YouTube videos. This time, we're going to start a little series of Prison Architect, because they just came out with a Perfect Storm DLC, came along with the Tower update. It includes preparing for the worst, there's new rat infestations, different intensity levels of them, uh, new support programs, not programs, like emergencies, like facilities. Oh, wait, no, yeah, these are programs, like new classes, train your staff. You can hire pests, exterm exterminators, plumbers. And it's talking about the weather here. I guess three different levels of intensity. And you got deep freezes, lightning storms, heat waves. And, oh, excuse me, they got two new guard dogs. A snipers, non-lethal alternative, but that's lame. We probably won't use that. Well, maybe I like that they've added customization and visitation, but let's just get into making a prison here. I really like the game. We've played, been playing it for a while. And you know, let's do a lady prison, just so we have the extra rooms. And then we're going to go with the ecologist. These, these are your wardens. This is the, the menu here. It's like a folder. Like your documents, you're the warden here. You're the architect and warden. So I haven't beaten the campaign. I haven't really cared for it, it's just drag. It's, and extras, it's all the things you can find, like um, Bible pages, Polaroid pictures, mods, mutators. Um, we'll get into that when we create prisons. Let's just start making them. Let's get a lady prison going. Because the challenge, because they have babies and they gotta like see their kids and everything, we will be able to handle it. So these are our wardens. We got the regular warden, just calls himself the warden, no advantages or anything. The lobbyist, you get less less dangerous by criminals. Uh, this suppresses prisoners more. Rita. This guy, J.W. Periwinkle. Guard dogs have a better chance of finding tunnels. Yeah, this guy calms the prisoners. Get a little bit more money from contraband. This guy, um... It's about beefing up the guards. This is for if you go criminally insane. And up to... Like, I think, Hawk Hartman? Dr. Slugworth? And then these guys, they're all DLC. Maybe her, I'm, I'm not sure. But, then we got Dr. Hudson. This is just about making the emergency systems cost less, I guess. They work 20% faster and arrive earlier, which I don't really care about that. We shouldn't, our well-run prison shouldn't run into emergencies. You got the botanist, this is about Farming. Farming's a little difficult, but we'll be doing it. And the ecologist, which is, I like the green energy sources, they're pretty useful. And then we got at we'll least one of the two new dogs here, maybe the Shiba Unu. Maybe the black setter. Kinda like the setter. Chaser of tiny sticks and escapees. Now on this side, you have the the world making. We'll make a large plot. We'll leave the space. We don't mess with the funds. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. We want temperature. Uh, let's get rid of the stars on there. We won't do that. Uh, generate lakes. That'll be cool. Gangs. It's gonna be gangland in our prisons. This will be cool. More, um, Getting or lose unique reputations based on experience inside. So if like people are experienced to harsh conditions, they might go crazy. Or like if they get beat up a lot or something, they might become tough. Or I guess I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. Prison transfer, staff needs, escape plans. Don't want that. Don't want that. Man. Then we go mutators. Uh, don't do most of these. Get. More likely to dig their way out of prison with any usual limits on escape tunnels. We'll do more contraband. Uh, none of that. We'll do that. Uh, 
Every single thing you buy makes the game clock slower, which causes days to be. Nah, I don't like. It. I like going on three speed as much as I can for any game. Then we got slow deliveries. We'll do that. Because everything needs to come on the truck. No contraband limits, extra reputations, those would be fun. And I think we can go in and turn stuff on. Like, if we want to grow a forest, we can do the turn the wild growth on. We want doggy do, get more cleanup, roof you. And then, well, I like that. The, if I was to do an Alcatraz prison, definitely be doing the noir filter. Right, here we go. And then let's begin. I'm aiming to do like a 30 minute video here. Oh look, this is one of a notebook page, one of the collectibles, page 25. So one of the first things I do is I just turn off the close. I close the intake because I, I won't be able to be taken prisoners in 24 hours. And I'm just gonna let it run as we start to plan out our prison. So here we have the deliveries and garbage. We can shrink those a bit. I don't like having them like right against the sidewalk either. That won't need to be that big. Try to get this set up a little quickly. I like making a nice little sidewalk area around my deliveries area. And we're gonna need an export spot just because just cause we're gonna need it. Let's just make the space for it. And then we'll put some some gravel down. Okay. Clip that. I usually like to take out the lights too because I don't like their placement, but we're gonna leave them alone. So to make money, we're gonna need grants. And the starting grants, they're going to be basic detention center and where is administration center because we're going to need our warden. You know, we'll slow it down just so not passively gaining, kind of cheesing, just sitting here. We'll plan out our little areas. So let's see, this is, that's the center. All right. And then it's a double. And then it's a double. So the deliveries, we can have a main road here. We're gonna want fence. Let's put a fence around it. All necessary precautions. And that thing is a road gate. I like them to face the right way. See the stop sign? I think that's real attention to detail. Some games they would just have it face one way, I guess. The stop sign would be there, but not. Flip it around, it's on the other side. And then... What we'll do is... It's always optional, but I always have it, is uh, you put it in a reception. It's where they get clean clothes and everything. And we'll just do a little room like that. And we'll lead into a main hallway. Or honestly, let's make this even bigger. Because what we can do is, well, we want the staff route, we want one entrance into the building. That will really help us to maintain the contraband. And then we want the staff separate from the prisoners as much as we can. Keep them safe. Safe but able to do their job. So we'll start just by throwing in a Big old reception right here. It's gonna need a door. And a jail door there and there. And then 
We'll speed it up because we're building things now. And we gotta think here how we're gonna want the staff. Maybe make it a two too wide hallway and let's see offices they're gonna need to be four by four so we can comfortably fit offices down the hall like this slow it back down And we're going to need eight offices for all our staff total. We won't build all of them now to save money, but we'll need them later. So this is going to mark like this area down here will probably be staff. Put a little S. There we go. Staff. We have staff zone. We'll keep the prisoners up here. Like, it's nice and flat up here. We got lucky with the rivers being over here. And maybe we could put more water down and make this an island. Connected like that. Future stuff. It'll be cool. It'll come together. Excited. I got this new computer. And friends helped set it up. They helped put it together, too. It's beefy. Oh, forgot. I hate having automatic lights on. But anyways, yeah, this is going to be going on my YouTube channel. But I'm also looking forward to start streaming a little bit. I'm playing some GTA roleplay. That'll be fun. Maybe to get on recording. That'll be on Twitch, but I gotta still kind of figure that out. I gotta learn OBS more. But anyways, let's throw down some concrete here. We'll do like four of these for now. And now we gotta think what's gonna go here. Maybe we can have like the utility room, maybe a small staff room. But we're also gonna want um, the possibility of expanding it. Maybe a staff canteen too down here, a small one. And then, uh, it's like we have a utility room in here. Is it even gonna be big enough? It gives you off with a water pump and a power station. I like to be neat with it. And we might wanna have room for two. Mm. Right, you know what? Make it nice. There we go. That'll look good. We're going with the concrete foundation because this is prison. Ain't no homely brick. And we're going to go for the orange staff doors. Kind of a bright orange. We're gonna go with the blue. That'll look nice. I like that. They added more staff doors. Hmm. I don't know if I like the light placement, but it'll be alright. And then so we can have a door somewhere. Let's wait for daytime. It's kind of dark. We'll plan out a little more. So the can't the kitchen can probably be along this edge. We gotta think we got the sinks. Which are like three wide. They're, yeah they're three long. And every cooker and fridge is two. We're gonna want a row of cookers and fridges. And honestly, the 
Most expensive rooms are going to be the canteen and the kitchen. The like beginning of the game. So, may as well make it big. Throw down the concrete there. A lot of contraband's going to generate from the kitchen. And we'll just stem the canteen off it. Like so. And... Does that line up? Okay. What we'll do is we'll have um, a corridor down this way. Have a corridor there. We'll put laundry here. Yes, yes, it's coming together. We're gonna make sure we have room or like funds left to like build these rooms. So let's do that now. Let's make our offices. Can it if I knew how I would definitely make a cut here or something and like skip or I guess not this long term. I'm gonna be learning how to do that. And then we'll put staff doors on these. Because people can get contraband from these rooms. We can't see that yet. We need special. See, we need to hire our warden. And so the office is going to need a desk. A little filing cabinet. Put it in like that. A little light. These guys are going to need the same. We'll give you a cactus. We'll give you a plant. You will plant. You'll get a coat stand. In fact, this will probably be the warden's office right here. This nice one with the coat stand and the and the moose head. Yes. And a cactus. With the nice chair. We're the warden here. This is going to be our nice little office. And a personal water cooler. Yeah. The warden's going to be living it up. We're just going to ball out now on his office. We're going to ball out now on his office while we have the funds. Yeah, I like putting concrete tiles in under my doors. Just to separate the rooms. They do it naturally. Yeah, I think we might want paving stone for here. And, you know, let's go with paving stone. I know we spent the money on the concrete tiles, but... It's whatever. They're cheap. Ooh. Yeah, here. This is our to-do list on this side. See, this is where we see the grants that are in progress. And whatever's happening in the prison. So we got the CEO's letter. You can pause it if you want to read it. I just skipped that. And then we got the criminally insane guidelines. Again, you can pause it if you want to read it. <laughs> Our water pump will go here. And our power station will go... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Power station... Water pump. I don't like them touching. Because these need capacitors around them to make them powerful. You can fill it up all around, and that's the max. But they added things like they added this weather machine, a backup generator. It's crazy. A whole bunch of crazy stuff. We're going to dismantle those. Mm. 
We'll connect that because I like the ability to shut off the power, the water if I want to. And then same with the power. Full control. Water's going to need to go that way. Going to need more capacitors. We'll stay small for now because they're expensive. Let's put in some lights, more wall. Uh, we'll put in a small youth storage right here. Back to this lobby storage. Okay. They don't have like a utility room. Oh, they have a weather center? What? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot we were doing a woman prison too. See, this is the nursery. Training room? Oh, that's sick. We need some lights. Put them in the corners. I try to make them as nice as I can. this room be staff room All right or was this gonna be the staff room so we have some options all right well we're gonna need that canteen and stuff so start with a small one in the hallway and then let's plan for this to go up. So we'll have our holding cell right here. And then, well, no, we'll have visitation right here. That's going to need to be a big room, which would mean the holding cell be like up here let's see visitation what's that visitor booth table I find that the booths are always kind of wonky they don't seem to work so we'll just be doing the table let's see where is it where is it search it yeah so that's that's two by three it's like hmm. Yeah, and then think about it. there's a where is it here it is a checkpoint so what we can do something where it's like we have the checkpoint the visitor in and out and then I guess we should have I know what we'll do this side of the prison here up here is going to be visitors. This whole row up this way. We'll be for our chapel, our workplaces. And then we'll have, we'll have like the holding cell here. Holding cell, a simple shower. Just start the money flow as we build a proper prison area. See, I wonder how long my video is recording for. I'm keeping like vague track of the time. I want to make like a decently long video. Just get some startup set up. I know it's going to be a little boring right now. So I get the flow back. Here we got kitchen. 
Uh, canteen. We need our warden. Something I could have been doing. Because we need maintenance. We get more. We need the prison labor to unlock our laundry. We're going to need the cleaning. But what we do is we can queue him up stuff. So we're going to need micromanagement. Finance. finance is what they want us to do. But we're going to need it all anyway. So It just helps us now to queue it up. Get, get all that going. We'll get it done. As we're building. Hopefully that infestations only start once we get prisoners. That'll kind of be sucky. Alright. So we, we do different colored doors. For different colored things. Like. Hold on. Let's, let's move that. I want that there. Yeah. And then, like, that. Uh, holding cell and shower. We need another office. These are all going to be cheap. The fact they got a plant is a blessing. This office is going to be... Okay. Okay, so here's where it gets a little complicated. Is We're going to need a number of psychologists on site. So... And they need a couch in their office, most of them, for whatever programs we're going to be running. And honestly, we have room, too, to expand. Like so. You can fit... Hold two other offices if we need more psychologists. Because we'll want them close, too. We don't want the prisoners to really get deep in here. It's the whole staff area and everything. And I figured this could probably be our staff room, but I don't know if we want it to be the staff room. I think we really do want it to be over here. Then we can figure out what we can put in there. Maybe the cleaning. So it's connected. Like we can have, oh, we could do different colored doors for things. Oh, that's going to be fun. And that little bell you heard was us unlocking this. So now we need this guy. And let's see, we want, we want these. We want those and make sure we have enough money for other things though. I don't want them in these. The accountant's gonna have to go in there for now, but we'll deal with it later. That's why I said, was saying earlier, we need at least eight. You need a minimum of eight offices. And we'll put that in. And then we'll do that. 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 And that the green doors will lead out into areas where prisoners mix in so I guess we'll dismantle the no 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 we'll fix that later we'll fix that later but we're gonna need a jail door and a jail door some large ones just I don't know, make them bigger And then the canteen, I've learned you can just do regular doors. Doesn't matter too much. Oh god! Storm's brewing, watch out for the power. So the storms are playing havoc with the local power grid. This, the installation of backup generators are a good fail safe. Let's try to keep power running in prison even in... Oh jeez. Well, there's our first event. That means we can probably get rats, too, if this gets dirty enough. I'm a little worried to see that happen. But, um... No, oh, it's starting back up. Let's get some more walls set up.
See, this will be the shower. This will be the holding cell. Yeah, reception. And did he unlock laundry yet? Oh, he did. So we, then we can now place down. Where is it? Laundry. We'll get that set up. And then we got. Uh, cleaning he's doing now. Mm, kitchen, yard. I like to centralize around the yard. Ooh. Looks like an item meant for a different facility fall off a truck passing by the facility. Casual handling this calamity, you can expect a reward in the f near future. What? In more erratic in recent years, we were lucky this time around, but the prison should be prepared for every eventuality. Some grants are offered to local businesses after adverse weather. I trust you will take advantage of them as and when they are available. What was this? Those things that like fell off a truck, it said. What are they doing with it? What mysterious crate? Oh, it's a hospital bed. A backup generator. Holy crap. So let's place that. What we'll do is we'll store solar energy to automatic power the power power the electricity in the event of a power cut. Yeah, let's just place that down. Place it here. And then we'll see how it connects. But we're gonna have we're gonna have the electrical run this on this side and we're gonna have the water pipes run on this side so it'd be like like that we're gonna need hot water too cannot forget the hot water no 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 but oh uh, whoa can this just like connect to this We just shoot a wire down that way. I like to be as ignore as organized as I can. Put in our lights. And we'll do more plumbing and intensive like furniture installation on the next episode as we unlock more little researches like Hey, we gotta save money right now. We gotta complete these grants. Like, hire the accountant. See, we got five grand from that. And we'll accept another one. Just, uh. uh we'll do that in the next episode. I've been Rob Potato. I hope you've enjoyed. So hopefully, we'll be staying consistent with this. Got the new PC. I need a second monitor and I gotta learn OBS a little more, but I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good one.